Asthma is the most common chronic disease of childhood. If you're not an asthmatic and you want to know what it feels like, get yourself out of breath, you know, sort of walk fast, run fast, then try to breathe through a straw. That sense of panic that you cannot get the air out and that you cannot get enough in is the feeling of an asthma attack. My oldest one. In the winter time when he gets a cold or something, he, that's when the asthma affects him. What's more concerning is that we see much higher rates among specific groups of children, particularly low-income urban minority children. So we have probably um, 50 to 100 cockroaches on here, almost too many to bother to count. One of the allergies that is common among children in public housing is um, an allergy to cockroach. If you live in an environment that has a lot of cockroaches, you basically are living in an environment that is always ready to set off an asthma attack. Cockroaches walking on, on the shelf aren't really going to cause any harm. It's when they die. As these critters die, you see dead cockroaches here in the edges of the uh, drawer. Their bodies, like all living things, dry out and become lighter and airborne. Someone with a respiratory problem like asthma breathes it in and that's the trigger for an asthma uh, attack. And so this combination is a real setup for kids. The project that we are involved in now has to do with successfully eliminating cockroaches from Boston Public Housing. This has not been done yet in the country. It is called Integrated Pest Management. IPM has three sort of working aspects to it. One is sanitation. I'm always telling them you got to keep it clean. I know you still see them, but if there's nothing on the floor for them to eat, then they're going to have to go somewhere. Hopefully they'll go out of here. The second component of IPM has to do with understanding where they live. So what we have is it's cavernous housing for cockroaches. Stage three is the use of pesticides if necessary once you've taken care of sanitation and exclusion. A co-partner with the resident is the peer educator. On IPM what I do is I educate residents, let them know how to clean up. Better than coming from a professional, peer training has a lot more uh, impact. I don't just work out here, I live here also, I'm a resident. so. I look at everything like if it was my unit. I think it's great, the IPM program is really helpful. And by the evidence that we're seeing here, they're dying out because of improvements in conditions. We followed about 50 children with asthma as we did an IPM program, and we did find that their symptoms were improved. It has been such a pleasure um, working with them and also being the person to hear what it has done for their life.